Life feels new and fresh and like everything is possible. I had surgery two plus weeks ago and everything feels different now. I feel lighter and with that I'm embracing, honoring, and keeping habits that keep me nourished, help with my healing, and make me feel great both internally and externally. And these habits are all different things that either I've struggled to maintain in the past or things that I want to embrace in my life. Starting each morning, getting out my ice roller and rolling my face to help drain the lymph and depuff my face. But honestly, it just feels really soothing and relaxing to start my morning that way. I want to maintain a skincare routine. I love having nourished skin, and yet it's so easy for me to neglect taking care of my skin. And over the past five days, I've been really sticking to this routine and it feels so good. I wake up, ice roll, and then I splash my face with water, put some rose oil under my eyes, and apply my forever eye mask. And then I go on to my next habit while I let those eye masks sit and nourish my skin. And I'm reintroducing beans into my life and eating them first thing in the morning without fats, but just rice and beans to really help my body detoxing, helping that fiber bind to everything that my body needs to get rid of and move out of it, especially after having gone through surgery, just aiding in my body's recovery and nourishing with fiber and protein first thing in the morning. The rest of my skincare routine is quite simple, which I appreciate and it makes sticking to it super easy. I take my eye mask off, wash them, and then I rub my face with the same rose oil and it just feels so nourishing. And then I spray with some hydrosol from Yay for Earth and then rub in a homemade lotion that I made that's infused with green tea. It's just so hydrating in such a dry climate that we live in. It's so necessary to replenish. Right now it looks like moving really slow and really gently, not doing much, and that's okay, but simply taking the time to roll out my mat and listen to my body and move it how it feels like it needs to be moved is so important and a reminder to really honor my body where it's at each and every day. Plus it's just good for the body to move. Journaling has been a practice that I come back to again and again and again and one that I easily fall off of and it's one that I like to stick with because I can go back and reflect and read my entries and see how much I've grown. A nettle infusion. I love filling it with two to three tablespoons of nettles and then filling it with a couple cups of water and then letting it sit for a few hours to overnight. And it's really great for your hair, it's great for iron, and so many things. One other thing I really struggle with is taking my vitamins, so making that a priority to do it every day because I know when I do do it, 
I feel better and I know that I'm getting all the things that I might not be getting in my diet and it just makes me feel good. Taking moments to take deep breaths, even if it's just a minute. Reminding myself to breathe deeply because my body has gone through a lot and breathing can heal us, as can water. So remembering to drink enough water each and every day. My goal is roughly 64 ounces a day and being sure to get my electrolytes in there to really replenish all that I need to nourish my body. Getting outside is so important, and as spring arrives, I know I'll be spending so much more time outside, but right now we're in that in-between where weather is unpredictable and reminding myself that I can still be outside. Lastly, just remembering to slow down, to be gentle with myself, and that right now I'm going through a great deal of healing and my body just needs to be taken care of to move slow, to trust in this process, and right now is a time of deep honoring, a time of listening to what I need and respecting that, and asking for the support when I need it, and just moving slowly and not judging myself for having to move a lot slower than I might want to. My mind moves quickly, and my body can't move as quick as my mind right now, and letting go of that need to, to force things and just surrender. Lots of surrendering.